Welcome back and thank you for staying with us. Now we're, we're going to relax a bit mm -hmm. and talk about... Um, <laughs> what's in your bag? What's in your bag? Indeed. Janet is here to show us what's in her bag. <laughs> <laughs> Good morning. Good morning, Good morning. Good morning. Now, as ladies, we all love our handbags. Mm -hmm. But the thing is, what's in your bag? Is it the kitchen sink? You know, before Sometimes. I go there, <laughs> Sometimes. before I go there, it's really about, um, you know, uh, the handbag is really a woman's asset. It's a, it's a major asset. And as a woman, we really can't walk around mm -hmm. without a handbag. It's part of your <laughs> It's part hand. of your whole presentation. Yeah. Um, so therefore, I would say whether the bag is for work or for um, leisure, I'd say, you, especially for work, you must invest in a good bag, leather bag, and invest in a black one. At least have a black bag in, you know, amongst your bags. And like a leather type would be good because it's durable. It lasts longer, okay? But what I want to bring out there is the handle. You know, when it comes to a bag, what kind of handle does your bag have? So normally for work, you don't want your handle to be anything longer than this because the bag should just sit at your elbow and not on your shoulder if it's for work. Even at that, some of these bags still come with very long straps, mm -hmm. you know. Mm -hmm. um, on a normal day, don't carry it with a strap at all because it doesn't look decent when you're carrying it. But then again, we have a bag here that's got chain. Mm -hmm. Now, a chain bag is definitely not for work. It's a leisure bag, of course. Um, it's a so fancy bag. The chain already <laughs> tells you that it's a social bag, all right? But it's a nice bag too, even at like that too. We still expect you to carry the handbag by your elbow and will, not Will over. this not also depend on what you're wearing? If, if I wear a black dress and carry this, it should... Oh, not, yeah. not to well, work, well, she not, says. Not, not necessarily to work. And if you're going to have a bag like this, then go for the black. Okay. Black is better. Then again, we have a bag over there that's fabric bag. And this is a bag that has no zip whatsoever. Now, be careful, be mindful of bags that don't have anything to zip them up. Because by the time you overload them, sometimes you put the bag down, it's it you know spills over Gaping. you really don't know what has fallen out of your bag so you have to be very oh, everybody can see what's and in it everybody can naturally see what's inside it then there's funny th a thing about bags with we ladies the bigger the bag like mm. this one, the more you carry mm -hmm. the more you're likely to carry and mm -hmm. it's not just hearsay it actually really does happen you're going to fill this bag with a lot more things that normally you might not put inside your bag you know but then again um Again, when your back is too heavy, it disturbs your posture. Mm -hmm. You begin to lean from mm -hmm. one side to the other. You can't mm -hmm. walk very, very well. It does definitely, you know, it sabotages your whole aura. So be mindful of what you're carrying in your bag. And I've seen a lot of ladies carry things that they absolutely don't need to carry in their bag. Things like certificates, you know. Um, yes, yeah, so seriously. I've seen people carry all sorts. Except it could you're be going one for day interviews. that they got it, they got a certificate, they got a license, they got something. Make a photocopy, keep it away. But because it was in this bag, not everybody tends to prune their bag out. They actually tend to load it with more things. It's important to prune your bag out all the time. Sometimes you've got stuff there, sweet papers, chewing gum papers. <laughs> you know, you've got a whole works kitchen sink inside your bag. <laughs> and you absolutely don't need those things. But what should you really have in your bag? You know, under normal circumstances, I would say, um, if you wear glasses, you can't go anywhere without your glasses. So you've got to have your glasses in your bag. Except, of course, your glasses are permanently on your nose, in which case you don't need your case. Well, that's true, that's true. Mm -hmm. But then if you're like me and I need glasses to read, to read. Yes. yes, so I always have to have, and it's very easy to put an empty glass case <laughs> in your bag. <laughs> yeah. So you have to watch out, check that the glasses are inside. Of course, everybody should always carry a pen. And sometimes, you know, you never know, carry a pencil as well, you know, in your bag. Um, for every businesswoman who always says, I forgot my business cards, they're in the other bag. As much mm. as possible, <laughs> have your business case holder business card holder i would say you know if if possible have two or three and put them in bags that you regularly use so that you're not going to say i forgot them because it's actually a sabotage mm -hmm. um it can sabotage you your go image. For a meeting yeah. when you're going somewhere and you say oh no i forgot my business cards it's the number one thing if you're going for a networking gathering make sure this is one item that is actually in your bag even if you forget anything else you know um of course you're gonna have your your wallet with your cards where you know it's a cashless environment today you don't want to carry cash you carry your cards and when i say cards cards can 
the bank cards, credit cards, you know, um, hospital cards. There's always a reason to carry some kind of card inside this. But be mindful not to carry all your cards because mm -hmm. if you lose this, that's, you lose everything. That's it, everything. <laughs> You're done you lose for. everything. Yes. And actually with me, I don't always like to carry. So I might carry a purse that has cash inside and then I carry my cards separately so that I'm not always bringing this one bag purse out that's got everything inside. So I'm very mindful. But then again, the two of these in your bag can weigh your bag down. Mm -hmm. yeah. So you need to be very mindful, okay? Of course, you definitely need your mobile phone inside your bag. The question is, how many mobile phones do you have? Some people have two or three. And I can assure you, the mobile phone definitely weighs your bag down. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Depending Depending on some have one phone many? for every network. Yes. <laughs> and three phones in your bag, that's weight. Oh, four. That's absolute weight. Mm -hmm. um, you know, the weather is getting really hot nowadays, so a pair of sunglasses would do you good, mm -hmm. you know, to shield your <laughs> eyes. I would always say a lady should have some form of diary, jotter, you know, planner inside her bag for whatever reason you want to write something down, you want to jot something down, or you want to have your little to-do list inside a little purse like this. Some people have a bigger one. The bigger, the heavier, right? Mm -hmm. um, the iPad is a good thing to have, but nowadays... Um, mini. You need a mini one because this, yes, just like yours, and that's it. That's cute. That's, I love this. This is really good, okay? A smaller one works well if you really want to pick up your meals anywhere, anyhow, any place. The bigger one is good, but it, it does it's depend heavier. on the size yes, of your bag. Heavy. And it mm. really, really is heavy, I have to say. Um, there are two things I also want to mention. Um, of course, you need to have a comb, a brush, or some kind of thing, because grooming is key for us, right? Mm -hmm. But then again, mm -hmm. you know what I do? <laughs> I actually go out of my way and I have two purses. When I say I have two purses, I have a little toiletry bag. Um, the toiletry bag inside would have painkillers, um, hand wash, oh God, sanitizer. Women. Yes, you can oh, trust me, I have everything. Women. Hand cream, mm -hmm. breath freshener. Oh, I even have a bag holder, so I don't put my bag on the on floor. The floor. So my bag holder is ready for me if I go for meetings, if I go for, to a restaurant. I'm ready, I'm prepared. And I think everyone should definitely have, I, I didn't call it a makeup bag, I called it a toiletry bag. Okay, so you <laughs> have this toiletry bag. Yes. You have the makeup bag. Ah, wait. You have the sunglasses. You yeah. have the I, wallet. I you know, this, this. You need extra this, help. Does this look like a, this <laughs> is um, a touch-up purse. Not a makeup bag. Right. This is a touch-up okay. piece. So it's smaller, right? And um, basically, I have my lipstick. I might have a little brush so I don't have to carry the big ones. So I'm doing a quick... When you're going into meetings, you've got to do a quick, you know, assessment of yourself mm -hmm. and tw quickly check how yes, you look. Just in case yeah, something is out of place. Just do that audit, <laughs> you know? <laughs> I'm sure men are watching us are going, oh, God, but women. Anyway, you know, we, we women, mm. we need to touch up with a bit of powder, of a bit of lipstick, of you know, and that's what I have here, a bit of powder, a bit of lipstick, you know, and a little brush. And this is what I call just a touch-up purse. I don't have the whole thing. I might have a bigger one in my car. But there's no need for me to carry a whole lot of makeup in my purse. It's totally unnecessary. So the best thing is just to have a touch-up one because sometimes you go to places and they say, it's time to take a picture. And then you go, you see all the ladies bringing out their powder. Oh. <laughs> vanity of vanity. Yeah. Yeah, but, but it, you see, that's a touch-up purse. It doesn't have to be as big as this. It could be small. For you, it might even 